Life isn't always sunshine and roses, but as children, we always tend to see it that way. Rainy days can be just as great as the sunny ones through the eyes of an innocent oh. child. That is, until an unexpected traumatic event shakes their perception of life forever. Nobody is ever truly prepared for it. Now, what if I tell you there was a small egg-shaped virtual pet that could offer some sort of solution to this, or at least a cushion to the impact? Enter the world of Tamagotchi, where pixelated creatures captivate the attention of children across the world. Were they just distractions, or something more profound? The rise of the virtual pet. The concept of Tamagotchi may be unfamiliar to those who didn't grow up during the 1990s or to those who avoided interactions with children or society at large during that time, so let me explain. A Tamagotchi was a portable digital pet created by Aki Maita and Yokoi Akirio from the Japanese toy company Bandai. These virtual pets were first introduced in Japan in November 1996 and quickly spread to other parts of the world by 1997. The Tamagotchi gained mass popularity due to its unique nature, the world having never seen anything like it before. The only other virtual pet on the market by this time was dogs and later cats, released in 1995 and 1996 respectively. Also quite unique, with the Zeds really quirky. Those games had much more of a literal take on the idea of pet though, as I'm sure you can figure out by their names. The Tamagotchi offered something completely different though. <laughs> Let's go back in time to November 1996, the month that the Tamagotchi Generation 1 appeared. This product acts as a base which all subsequent models would be constructed. That base is a nearly 2 inch tall plastic egg with a keychain, a low resolution black and white screen, and 3 buttons underneath it. The nostalgia hits hard with this. About four months after the first generation released, then came the second. I know, not much time in between. And it is almost identical to the first, but here are the key differences. The Gen 1 has a checkerboard pattern, while Gen 2 has a ripple pattern. Whoa! <laughs> Wowee! What an evolution! To be fair though, the Gen 2 had new characters, which is like the main appeal for these toys, and it also had its own minigame. But because the first two generations of Tamagotchi are so similar, they get lumped together as the Tamagotchi Originals. The OGs. One of the best things about the Tamagotchi Originals is that they are some of the most accessible versions out there. Wait, what? How does that make sense if they're the oldest and newer models have preceded them? Something isn't adding up! Well, in 2018, they actually began making reproductions of the Tamagotchi Originals using the same programming as used in 1997. How am I only just finding this out? These tiny creatures were in need of your constant care. Feeding, cleaning, playing, giving medicine. If you ignored them, they would grow into even more dependent adults. According to the rules of the game, you could start over, but each Tamagotchi had a limited lifespan. The Tamagotchi's overall lifespan is based on both what the adult evolves into and how well it is cared for. For example, Tamagotchi will often die within 3 days of evolving, while Mamachi can live for 20 days or more. Yeah, each of them have names by the way. We'll get into that later. Were Tamagotchis good or bad? Now back to my original thought, were Tamagotchis a source of distraction for children or a valuable educational tool? Well, many schools across the globe decided to ban them completely as they grew in popularity, including my primary school I went to, which is a good indication of how most adults felt about these toys. However, this ban ultimately led to Tamagotchis being left at home to starve and children rushing back to make sure they hadn't died to give them food and water immediately. And yeah, I was one of them, as were my two brothers. In my opinion, it would be disingenuous to say that these virtual pets didn't instill a strong sense of responsibility and accountability in kids. I would feed that little guy long before I ever thought of feeding myself. And yeah, that's the other side of the argument. Imagine your parent hearing that. Critics of the Tamagotchis argue that they were nothing more than distractions, diverting children's attention away from more conventional learning activities. The constant need to attend to a virtual pet could potentially detract from schoolwork and social interactions. I'd be interested to know which side of the debate do you guys sit on? Lessons of life and loss. 
Responsibility and accountability are great things for a child to learn, but Tamagotchis potentially touch on something much deeper. These virtual pets' fleeting existence provided a moving illustration of how fleeting life is. For many kids, the moment the Tamagotchi died was the first experience dealing with a loss. Through this encounter, the idea of life's impermanence was gently introduced and a safe space to process sorrow was created. Children started to realize that all living things have a lifespan. Experiencing death for the first time at a young age in this virtual lighthearted way has to be better than diving into the deep end and experiencing the real thing suddenly, right? Lightening the mood! Who are the characters? I can't express how much I love the designs of the Tamagotchi characters, especially in their adult forms. To be honest, I love these little nuggets too. Anyway, here comes the speedrun of many characters to illustrate just how great these were. If you don't want to sit through that, feel free to skip to here. Ready? Let's go! Mamachi, Mimichi, Kuchapachi, Kikichi. Lovelichi is also known as Lovelin in some regions. Melodichi, Karumabichi, Gozerichi, Violetchi, Makiko, Spacey-chi, Chamamechi, Maskeuchi, <laughs> Jinjurochi, Ichigochi, Ringochi, Marochi, Paprachi, <laughs> Pokichi, Happy Appichi, Kuishimbochi, Toskachi, Kurokochi, Memepechi, Oyajichi, Kuchi Tamachi, Shellchi, Chuchuchi, Kilalachi, Moriichi, Princess Tamago, Hainonechi, Water Waterchi, Pukachi, Love Mama Doodle, Love Mama Lichi, Mochi Spadachi, Sakura Mochi, Guruguruchi, Yatachi, Ninachi, Yumemachi, Kirichi, Kofruchi, Cosmochi, Rubichi, Chimaguruchi, Bakachi, Nokobochi, Mojachi, Ripachi, Pippo Specchi, Jimashi Mad. Shimashi Machi! Shimami Phew! There's definitely more, but let's leave it at those for now. Tamagotchi's lasting legacy! Tamagotchis have changed with the times, adding new features and personalities without sacrificing their essential qualities. These devices, neatly bundled into a little beeping keychain, offered children across the world a lesson about life's complexity and acted as a doorway to developing responsibility. Beyond simply being devices, Tamagotchis represent the introduction of emotional development and caregiving to a generation. So, are the children who grew up caring for Tamagotchis better equipped to deal with the death of a loved one? Of course! I'm kidding. Of course not. That would be a crazy statement to make. However, I can't deny the impact that these virtual pets have had in terms of gradually introducing the concept that is the circle of life. Every child that had a Tamagotchi knew that one day their pet would die. And it's the acknowledgement of the inevitability that I think is the real lesson here. They may not learn how to deal with loss on an emotional level, but at the very least, they know ahead of time that one day, a final day will come, and that's okay.